Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. I'm about to explore the wondrous world. The wondrous world that is my yard. In my backyard. That is my backyard. What are we waiting for? Let's, Let's go. go! Hi everyone, it's Christiana from the New K Nature Center and I'm back with another video. And today I am buzzing to show you guys what I have today. Let's check it out. So today I am on the trails and there are these white foxes. Does anyone know what these could be? Let me zoom in a little closer, see if it'll give you any clues. Oh, I noticed there are something flying around those boxes. Those are bees. So this is a bee home. These are called apiaries. Aren't those neat? And as you can see, I am a safe distance away because I do not want to get too close because they would see me as a threat. But we are in luck because I have something to show you. What I have here is a box, just like the white box we just saw moments ago. This is a apiary. And we are going to take a little deeper dive inside and see what the insides look like. So before we get a closer look at our apiary, we have to look the part. So let's get started. Even though I have this protective beekeeping suit on, there is one more thing I need to do before I can approach this very active hive. And that is, I need to calm them down. What I'm going to do is use this device here. This is called a smoker. And just like the name says, you create smoke by building a fire in this canister here, using leaves and sticks and stuff. And by using this mechanism here, almost like an accordion, it's going to shoot out smoke and calm those bees. How this works is, is when a bee senses a potential threat in the area, it will release a alarm pheromone. And by releasing it, the neighboring bees will sense this pheromone and release it as well. And they'll pass it along until the entire hive is aware that there could be a potential threat. By smoking the hive, you are blocking their ability to sense a fellow bee's pheromone, and therefore they cannot alert one another of a potential threat. So let's smoke these guys. Okay, I noticed they are getting a little groggy. And now that we are, we are gloved up, they're calm, it's time to take a look inside the hive. So as you can see, each box has its own frames, these are called, and inside each frame is something really cool. Let me show you. Wowee. So, inside are these honeycombs. And yes, the bees create the honeycombs all on their own, and they do this by releasing a wax from their body, and they mix it with honey, and they create this beautiful geometric shape. There are a few functions for cells for a beehive. The first one could be to serve as a home for a egg or a larva before it becomes a adult bee. Another one is to serve as a storage site for the honey, which is the food that they create. Oh, wow. Let's see what else we can find. All right, look at all these bees there. Now you notice that one in the middle with an arrow says queen bee, and every hive has a queen bee. She is easily recognized amongst the others because she is a little bit bigger, and it's up to her to lay all the eggs for that hive. During the spring, she can be laying between one to 2,000 eggs a day. Isn't that amazing? 
And then what happens is the bees will take those eggs and put them in a cell. So one egg goes in each cell and after a few days it becomes a larva, which is like a little wiggly worm. And then eventually it'll turn into the bees we know today, the adults with the wings. There are a few different types of bees in this system. There are the worker bees and the drone bees. The drones are all males. Their job is to reproduce with the queen. Whereas the worker bees, which are the females, their job is to clean the hive, take care of the young ones, collect nectar to create honey. They do awfully a lot of work. Which means, in fact, if you ever got stung by a bee, that is a female. Fun fact for you. Whew. So thanks for joining me today about learning a little bit more about bee homes and apiaries in general. I just love how amazing bees are. Thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!